I'm Shauna, and this is Brian. Welcome to our channel, Life Uninterrupted. In 2018, we sold our home, auctioned off most of our belongings, and bought a motorhome, which we affectionately refer to as Frida. We travel full-time with our two French Bulldogs, Lucy and Ricky. Join us on our adventures by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so that you're notified when our videos release each week. We had such a good time in Yuma connecting with new friends and exploring the area and taking our electric XPs out for a ride. It was a great time. Those two weeks went by really quick. So now we're headed east, um, still in Arizona. We'll be probably in Arizona for another couple of weeks. But we're going to another one of our favorite places. It's called Picacho Peak State Park. And it's about three hours distance from Yuma, where we were located. Uh, but this is kind of set back in the desert area up against the mountains. It's one of the reasons that we love it so much. And the sunsets are beautiful. Shona said three hours drive time. The wind is a little gnarly today. It's kind of swirling. It's uh, in this broadside, the backside. Right now we kind of have a quartering tailwind, so it's pushing us along nicely. Oh. Yeah, we can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand It's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes And a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night When the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand we, we had another great stay here at Picacho Peak State Park And today's a travel day, so we're packing up And we're headed to Benson, Arizona At the Thousand Trails there I think it's called Valley Vista Anyhow, if you ever get the chance this Picacho Peak State Park is definitely a place we would recommend. The sites are spread apart nicely and you get these awesome, awesome views of the valley. Are you guys ready to go? Go to our next location? Are you excited? Ricky, are you excited to go bye bye
going on out there? We have no water. Uh-oh, how come? Ah, my face is not so cold out there. Oh. Um, well, I turned the water on here this morning and I thought, well, nothing, well, a little trickle came out, so I knew right away. There was a problem, went outside, looked at the hose, sure enough. Water hose coming into the coach is frozen, the spigot is frozen. I didn't check the temperature last night to see what I was going to get down to, so I don't know that turning anything off would have helped. Maybe, I don't know. So, nice thing though, in, in our coach, all of the bays where the water lines are are all heated, so uh -oh. that seems to be okay because everything works off the pump, which is good. Well, that's good. And I checked the lines in the wet bay, and they're all okay. No, nothing's frozen in there, so. Good. Just a line coming in. So what do you do for that kind of thing? What do you, what do you think you do? Well, I just connected the water hose and put it in the sun to help it fall oh, out. Oh, that makes sense. And then for the water spigot, I don't know, maybe I'll, it's, it looks like it's PVC. So mm. I was going to take the water, or the uh, blow dryer out and thought <laughs> I might still do that. Yeah, well, this is a first for us. Yeah. And all of our travels wow. have never had freezing water lines. Never even thought about it. Uh uh. But it got cold last night. I, mean, it's, I don't know what it is outside, but it's probably still in the 20s. And look at you. You just went yeah. outside wearing what? Shorts. I Shorts. Yeah. <laughs> you crazy know. Arizonans. Yeah, so. Yikes. You gotta get that fixed. Yeah. yeah. haven't guessed already we are at a old west town in southern Arizona tombstone it was established in the late 1800s by a prospector who was searching for silver yeah a lot of people think that uh, this area was uh, famous for gold mining but it was actually silver mining for the most part, I'm sure there was some gold here too, but primarily silver. So we're just gonna kinda go through some of the old parts of the town here in back of us back there. You probably can't see it, but the large building right there with the big cupola on top. That is the courthouse, Cochise County Courthouse. So this is gonna be kind of a run and gun type vlog today. Just gonna capture lots of different kind of stuff. And that Tombstone is very famous for is the Birdcage Saloon, which yeah. is also um, known in the paranormal world as being a very haunted place. So hopefully we'll be able to go in there. So we're coming up here to the old western town. I'm not quite sure what this is, so we'll kind of capture some of that as we walk in here. that. 
Cheers. So we're in the process of setting up for our first YouTube live stream and Brian's got lights set up and the camera, the laptop, the dead cat, the track pad, all kinds of stuff. Oh my God, here's hoping everything goes well. Kind of configure stuff so that I don't have to always reach up into the, the laptop here. Oh, that's a good idea. So I've got the trackpad over here and keyboard over here. Just kind of makes it easier to work from this area. Can you see the monitor? Because I'm not going to be able to see it at all. I will have to rely on the, the uh, iPad. We want to blow the screen up where we can see everything pretty clearly. Looks good. And we just hide the other little windows, like the comments right here. This is kind of mm -hmm. cool because you can take a comment when someone makes one and pull it right down into the window. So it, just, it then becomes part of the live stream. Snazzy setup here for the live stream. It's going to take place just about, I mean, just a few minutes before sunset. So we figured we need some light. All right. Um, this is nerve wracking as, as I'll get out. And I'm most worried about technology. The, the talking to people part doesn't bother me. It's just the technology and will everything work well? I think it will. Yeah. Okay, so I oh think... Oh my God, we're live! I think we're live. <laughs> are we live? Give us a... Somebody give us a thumbs up or we're live. Oh we my think God. we are. <laughs> um, Got to be a better way for what? Yeah, it's glued this together. I'll wait for my extendable retractable mast. Ah, I didn't know we were waiting on something else. Uh, sort of. Not <laughs> did really. You, did you just spill beans? <laughs> I just can't get them right now. No. Hey, did this help? Uh, not really in this area because the cell signal is pretty good. Okay. I noticed quite a few people have these little towers. Yeah, our, the, the antennas we have actually did a little bit better than this because this is this antennas are really meant to be used with the booster. When I turned the booster on with this antenna, I actually got worse signal, which is oh. typical. Oh. You're already getting good signal and you're close to a tower. So mm -hmm. just because you have one of these and have a signal booster doesn't mean it's automatically going to give you much better service. Gotcha. What are you going to do with all this? Just like this. Okay. Isn't it, doesn't it attach to somewhere? To something? Oh. Okay. Look at you. How cute. Oh my goodness. You're a pretty smart fella. <laughs> this is my latest artwork. I didn't do so well on these. I don't know. I wasn't as inspired. This one I completely messed up with a stencil, but I'm still going to go for it. Um, I love doing the Life is Good. That's probably one of my favorites. And then we've got You Are My Sunshine. Made me think of the Southwest. Hope you find one of these. If you do, let us know. Thanks, Ricky. Thank oh, look at the paint running. Light speed activated. That's how you do a quick paint job. People Girls. are going to think that's in fast forward. Girl Scheib, $5.99. $5.99. I think that was a Brian Scheib. <laughs> Here comes BJ. There goes BJ. Always working. So we are still here in Benson. This is our last night and we are heading out tomorrow. Yay! Uh, to Las Cruces, New Mexico. That's our first stop. Planning to stay at a harvest host that we stayed at before. D.H. Lacombe. I think that's how you pronounce it. Winery. Um, yeah. We are expecting snow flurries tonight. Can you believe that? 
I can't believe that. Wouldn't it be weird Ridiculous. if would it be weird if we woke up this morning and there was a blanket of snow on the ground? Yeah, we wouldn't be going anywhere. No, we wouldn't. Well, sure. we'd have to leave here because our, our two weeks is up. Yeah, they wouldn't make us leave if it was dangerous. Mm. Yeah. They might. They'd have to call the cops and kick us out. Extricate us from our spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's tomorrow. We head to Las Cruces and we slowly, well, I say slowly, but every day we're going to be moving until we get to the Texas coast. And then it's beach time, beach tribe, woot, woot, woot. Yeah, don't you just love me? Okay, bye. Today's bully bath day. Shauna's giving Ricky a bath, and Ricky does not appreciate it one bit. Is that true? What do you think, Ricky? Do you like it? Nope. I don't like it, buddy. I do not like it, buddy. I'm turning her faces. Oh, that was so funny. Lucy, you're next. next you're next, Lucy. Oh, yeah. Miss Lucy's turn for a bath. She is filthy. Oh. oh. You can see all the black and the green on her back. <laughs> Poor Lucy, you're white and all the dirt shows. Lucy's usually pretty good about taking a bath too. Okay, I got it down here. Pretty good about it, huh, Luce? Um, that's my shampoo you just put on her. I don't know if I'd use human shampoo on her. Well, it's too late. Oh Lord. Okay. <laughs> Well, now we get two kinds. Oh, now Lucy, it does smell guys. really good. Oh. We bought this tub, this plastic tub to hold stuff. And then it also serves as a dog bath. So far, so good. Fits both of them perfectly. Oh, let's see. Go. Oh. Oh, Look at, she's like snow white again. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Try to get all your ice crusties. Look at you, loose. Good girl. Towel soaked. Cause she soaked. Cause I soaked, daddy. Cause I soaked, daddy. Oh, I soaked it. Stretched. 